Once upon a time in the projects. Are you baking my favorite cake? Well, Thurgood, it is my birthday. Boy, you only know one tune. My birthday. My side of the bed. My underwear. Now, did you at least get the birthday candles like I asked you? Oh, isn't it enough that I'm throwing you this surprise party tonight? Uh, by the way, uh, don't show up till late or you'll ruin the surprise. Thurgood, were you in the cookie dough earlier? Nope, and you can't prove it. Not You could have ruined my portrait of Nula. Man, if you like Nula so much, why don't you just go and rap to her? Oh, how does one rap to an angel? You gotta let her know you're a player, a Mac, a pimp daddy. Oh, tell her how you can fit 12 hot dogs in your mouth at the same time. Hmm, I can see I'm just in time. Juicy, you're not gonna impress some girl with an enormous amount of wiener. Right. I gotta be sensitive and caring about her feelings. No, no, no! Women say they want sensitivity, but what they really want is stuff. You've got to give her presents. I think I got it. Check out my flow. Uh, hey, Nula. I got you a gift. Where's all the candy? Oh, I ate all that stuff so you could get right to the prize. It's a tattoo. Want me to lick your arm? I want you to buzz off. Oh, okay. You can keep the tattoo. Oh. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday, Muriel. <laughs> this is a great party, Muriel. What are you thanking her for? I did all the work, except for the food decorations and invitations. Oh, Mrs. Avery, it's a picture of you and me in your apartment. Man, it's not just a picture. It's an alibi. See, I'm holding today's newspaper. If he dies tonight, no jury would ever convict you. <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. You hate me. Ha <laughs> ha, real original. And yeah, don't worry, Muriel. My gift will make up for all this crap. Oh. Oh. Juicy? Juicy? You only took two pieces of cake. What's wrong, baby? Nola dissed me today. It made me realize I'll never get a girl. Maybe I'm better off being a confirmed bachelor like Mr. Sanchez. Huh? Well, I bet you're just too grown up for a girl Nula's age. Trust me, Juicy. Most women like mature men. Uh, hey, Muriel, pull my finger. Oh, they're good. Too late. <laughs> Don't worry about Nula, Juicy. You'll find a sweetie of your own. I know I'd be lucky to have a man as smart, funny, and handsome as you. Who? 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 Are you still down in the dumpster about that girl? You see, what you need to do is find a woman in a bad relationship. That way, you do nothing and still look good by comparison. You know the kind of guy I'm talking about. Rude, selfish, insensitive. Thurgood, I need your help. Not now, Muriel. I'm trying to make Fatty feel better. Well, Muriel, time to open your birthday present. Have you been a good girl this year? Well, I think so. But I can be bad if you want me to be. Uh, why don't we just open your gift? I can't wait to see it. I really outdid myself this year. An idea like this is one in a million. Now I know how the colonel must have felt when he invented the chicken. A sweatshirt? Not just any sweatshirt, a beer cozy sweatshirt. You see, the holder on the front keeps a 40 cold longer. But I don't drink beer. That's the beauty of it, Muriel. I do. And when I wear this sweatshirt, you won't have to go to the fridge as much. It's all about you. <sighs> uh, I see you're speechless with joy. <sighs> I can't believe him. Look, go on, this sweatshirt. With all his things up to Wait a second. She doesn't like the sweatshirt. How could that be? I've got to find a way to make this up to Miri. Knock at the door. 
Right when I'm thinking about Muriel in the sweatshirt, that is most inconvenient. Oh, great. Beautiful flowers for Muriel. What am I gonna do with these? I still need a way to get back on Muriel's good side. I'll throw these flowers away, then get back to thinking. <gasps> are those what I think they are? Uh, what do you think they are? Why, flowers from my husband. Uh, happy birthday. I knew that ridiculous shirt was just a joke. You planned this whole thing. <laughs> of course I did. What? Do you think you have some kind of secret admirer sending you anonymous flowers? Muriel has some kind of secret admirer sending her anonymous flowers. Gentlemen, it takes teamwork to play baseball. But my enthusiasm is toilets. Now, when a man plunges his toilet, he has the right to expect that he's the only man plunging that toilet. And what, I ask, could be lower than plunging another man's toilet? One of you has the hots for Muriel and is sending her flowers. So let me get this straight. You're comparing your wife to a toilet? Sanchez, it was you, wasn't it? Actually, I've never been attracted to women. Mm. Well, mm. I suppose that comes as news to no one. You didn't let me finish. Women who are married to my friends. Sir God, you know what I like. And let's face it, Muriel don't got back. Thurgood, I've always loved Muriel. I frequently fantasize about her naked. And at your funeral, she'll think I got eight hands. <laughs> but not until you're dead. Now that's a friend. So, none of you guys sent Muriel flowers. Well, I guess I've got no reason to hit anybody in the head. Sanchez has a fly on his neck. Oh, good. What the hell, you Jackson? Uh, here, Muriel. I got you another special something. It's no use. I'll never catch him. Oh, good. He's out of shape, too. Juicy? There's no one behind this post! Oh! You're a Muriel secret admirer? Yep. Guess that means you're gonna open up a can of whoop ass on me. Oh, no, 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 Juicy. It just means that you and I need to have a man to man sized boy talk. Now, come here and sit on my knee. Woo hoo! Holy mother of Mary J. Blige! Uh, look, Juicy, now I think it's cute that you have your little enlarged heart set on Muriel. But remember, she is taken. I guess. It's just that we connected on a very deep emotional level. Now anyway, the bottom line is, you and I are friends. And a friend doesn't try to steal another friend's girl. Except in special situations where the friend's going to be away all summer and the girl's father owns a liquor store. I'm glad we're still friends. Oh, we are. And friend, I do hope you find someone real soon. And when you do, remember to take it nice and slow. Uh, just like your metabolism. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hey, Muriel, I gotta talk to you about something. Better watch what you say, or I may have to put it in my new homemade journal you gave me. Journal? Oh, right, right. Those idiots, they misspelled your name. No, they didn't. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, about the gifts. Now, why don't I give you a nice long foot rub in appreciation of all your generosity? Ooh, a little foot nookie. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> hey, we got Fritos. I uh, know, but because you've been so good to me, later I'm going to deep fry your favorite sandwich, BWLT. Bake it without lettuce and tomato. Uh-huh. So, Goody, what was it you wanted to say about the gifts? Uh, just that there's plenty more where they came from. Now, since you're down there, would you mind taking care of the jam between the market piggy and the roast beef piggy? Ah. Well, how's your little back holding up? Oh, pretty good. Then you're not walking fast enough. Move it, laser! Uh, Juicy, what are you doing? Well, you told me to take it slow, and nobody's slower than Florence here. Well, that's true. 
But still, you might want to find somebody who has all her original parts. I heard that! Well, not really. But I saw your nasty, filthy lips move! Ooh. Uh, Juicy, I I've been thinking about our conversation, and I think I was a little hasty. It's not fair you don't have a shot at Muriel. But I thought friends didn't go after each other's women. Oh, please. We're not really friends. Oh. Uh, we're more than that. We're brothers. And there's no law against two brothers going after the same woman. It worked for the Kennedys, and it'll work for us. Wow, the Kennedys. Okay, what should I do? Should I go talk to her? Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Talking is step four. Right now, you're in step one, giving gifts. Anonymous gifts. What's step two? Uh, more gifts. What about step... Gifts, gifts, and more gifts. Hmm. you shave my face. I thought it might be fun if you shave my... But what you got there? Thurgood, I just got your latest present. I love it. Where'd you get it? Uh, you know, uh, the, the house of, uh, 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 excuse me, the name is... Pancakes? Yeah, the International House of Pancakes. They sell patents at the House of Pancakes. All right, you caught me. I might as well tell the truth. I didn't buy that gift. I painted it myself! Really? And why would you paint a picture of me and Juicy and then sign it, Love Juicy? Dur Thurgood, you better tell me what is going on right now. Mm, all right. The jig's up. The gifts were all from Juicy. Whew! I feel better now that that's over. Now let the shaving begin! Oh! Thurgood, I am so furious right now, I could say damn! Well, see? I said it. Oh, come on, Muriel! It's the thought that counts, and you thought the gifts were from me! I suggest you take some time and think <gasps> about what you've done. Oh, think about what I've done. Mm. Think. Oh, Muriel knows I'm no good at this. Mm, uh, Super, I believe you're lying in my guest house. Yeah. It's just that I'm having a problem with Muriel, and I feel pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And, uh, how does that make you feel? Well, I guess I should have told Muriel who the gifts were from. And I should have told Juicy that she wasn't interested. And I should have been more... Super, super, please. You shouldn't all over yourself. You need to get out of the problem and into the solution. Hmm. I ought to go apologize. That will take massive amounts of psychoactive medication. I mean, after all, drugs help me forget about um, my... <clears throat> First rule of Fight Club is... Don't talk about Fight Club. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, Smokey, I want to thank you, but since you're freaking out and punching yourself in the face and whatnot, I'm just going to back away slowly and avoid eye contact. So, you see, Juicy, it's not that I don't like you. It's just that I'm older and I'm already married. I understand. Uh, hey, Juicy, why are you here? I called them down here, Thurgood, so I could set things right. Oh, well, good. Juicy, I'm sorry I took credit for your gifts. I was wrong. That's okay. The important thing is that they made Mrs. Stubbs happy. Anyway, I gotta get going. You treat her right. Hooray! Things are back to normal. Thurgood Orenthal Stubbs, you are the most selfish person on this planet. At first, I thought you were just taking credit for Juicy's gifts. But now, I see you were manipulating him all along. You lied to him, and you lied to me. But Muriel... A ten-year-old boy knows more about romance than you. Oh, but... I, I, I can't stand even being around you right now. I'm staying at BB's. I... Oh. Well, life can't get any worse, can it? Super! I locked myself out again. And I'm naked. Can I come in? I can't stop and stand it. Muriel wants to go stay at her sister's. Go 
good. I don't need her. I'll be just fine by myself. Hmm. Can't a tuna? Can't open her. I know these two go together somehow. I can handle this. <laughs> Good night, Goody. You devilishly handsome young virile stud. <laughs> Why, thank you, Muriel. I love you. I love you too. Now don't forget to bump booties. Uh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna go bring my wife home. That's the manly thing to do. Muriel, please, please come home. You're Juliet to my Romeo. Wheezy to my George. Siegfried to my Roy. <laughs> They're good. Get up. You are embarrassing our race. Muriel, it's me, your sweet baby Thurgood. I'm a changed man. I've even been watching Oprah. So now I can remember your spirit while I help you wait to exhale and get your groove back. Talk is cheap, Thurgood. If you really love me, you're gonna have to prove it. Prove my love? That should be easy. If I can prove my innocence to three separate juries, I can certainly prove my love to one woman. Not really. Well, hey, I'll see you with Nula. Uh, good for you. Yeah, when I saw how happy I made your wife, I realized I'm pretty good at romancing women. I wish I was. Uh, right now, my plan is to stay out here without showering or changing my clothes until Muriel takes me back. Yeah, well, that could work. Um, do you have any other ideas? You know, just to hear. No. Can you help me? Walk with me. Good. Why are you dressed like that? No, oh, Muriel, I know I've been a jerk lately, so I thought you could use a vacation. And I know you've always wanted to go to Europe and meet Queen Latifah, but it's too expensive. So I brought all the countries to you. Welcome to your European vacation. I don't know, Thurgood. I'm still upset with you. Oh, please, Muriel. Just give me a chance. Mm. Our first stop is Rome. Calvini, Giussiano, to the fountains! Thurgood, I don't see how this... Uh, just play along. To your left, we have the leaning tenement of Pisa. <laughs> how you two lovebirds? Thanks for the help, Papa Hudson. No problem, Super. If you want later, I can help you make the Earth move. <laughs> To the right, you'll see one of the famous flamenco dancers of Spain. Wow, Thurgood, you really did go to a lot of effort. Whew. Oops, take cover. Looks like we just crossed into war-torn Bosnia. Next stop, Venice. <clears throat> Welcome to Smokey's Gondola Slash Water Rafting Ride. Rafting? Oh, I hope the currents aren't gonna be too rough. Well, don't worry, most of the rapids are level one. Except immediately after Thanksgiving dinner when there's a preponderance of number twos. Uh, hey, Smokey, 
Uh, would your favorites with a little melody? Uh, melody's not working tonight, but uh, I think Babs is available. I mean, sing us a song, you damn former crackhead. Oh. <clears throat> when the moon hits you, I like a big pizza bride at your more They're good. I have to admit, you're starting to win me over. And finally, Muriel, I give you... Paris! Oh, Thurgood, my favorite! That's right. And look, there's a the hunchback in Notre Dame. <laughs> Hello, stupid Americans! Your table is there! You even made the waitress rude! Oh, this really is like France. Yep, and I even made your favorite French food, spaghetti. And check out this wine. It's Kucha Chianti. Tonight's been absolutely perfect. Uh, Muriel, I gotta come clean. Now, even though I did all this stuff for you, they were Juicy's ideas. I have ideas of my own, but I'm always afraid they would never be enough. The only lame thing I could think of was to tell you how much you mean to me and how much I love you. I'd understand if you want to leave me for Juicy. Thurgood, that's all I ever wanted to hear. Well, that it's okay to leave me for Juicy. No, that you love me. I don't need any fancy gifts or presents. I just want to know that I'm appreciated. You are, Muriel. And from now on, I promise, Thurgood Stubbs is not going to be selfish anymore. <laughs>